having grown up in Halifax that I showed you, I have a kind of side interest in military history. I read a lot about uh, technology and war and the battles of war and so on. So uh, people in my family think that I'm a kind of psychopath. I grew up in Halifax, Nova Scotia during the war. So I grew up surrounded by the military going to war. When I think of my childhood, I think of military parades to the docks, you know, squadrons of planes flowing overhead, but mostly these haunting memories of sitting at what's at the center of Halifax, Citadel Hill, and uh, watching these great ships of war coming in through the so a lot of my background was in military language. <clears throat> I myself had to join the uh, military cadets, but my performance of that was undistinguished. <laughs> I remember I got 79 in one of my courses. Today, if I gave a student a 79, who was a good student, I would have to face lawyers and <laughs> family. But I got a 79, my head was this big, you know, how I had done that. So there's a very big difference of university life for that. Uh, in a way, I should say I was sorry I didn't get into the, the academic world as it is now. But I look back with great nostalgia once it was that. You know that uh, the, the main thing I do for fun you know, I don't go to discos anymore. I'm afraid I'd get a heart attack. <laughs> and uh, uh, first is travel. That's a big thing with me. And with some disagreements in my family, because my wife, for example, others love to go up north into the wilderness. For me, it's to go to different cities. If I, I someone gives me, tells me that I have two weeks to live, I'll, I'll be pretty healthy until the last minute, and I can do it, uh, what I want, I would go with my wife and my family to New York, Seattle, Shanghai, Hong Kong, you know. And Professor Emeritus. But you have to remember that you're going to go old and try to give yourself an occupation that will keep you stable. That, that's, that is now a terrible challenge to find that. Terrible challenge. But the other thing is, don't just do what you have to do, do something that you love, because that's what you're going to be with for the rest of your life.